has won the right to rest peacefully in Texas water. Howdy and hello, I'm Travis Davis, Vice President of Ship Operations, Battleship Texas Foundation. And today we're gonna to talk about gun bloomers. In our October update, we showed you footage of the crew putting on the bloomers on turret two, way up there. So we figured this go around, we'd tell you, or explain to you rather, what gun bloomers are in case you were curious, and the history of gun bloomers on Battleship Texas. Like many things on Navy ships, there's an official name, and then there's the unofficial name that's more commonly used. So like the water closets, you know, that's the restrooms. Well, they're called heads. Gun bloomers are no different. Bloomers is a slang term that originated because they resemble women's garments from the 19 teens and 20s. They were also called blast bags, but their real name is bucklers. That term goes back as far as we can find to 1915, we have Nevada's construction drawings which show specifications for building out the bucklers for Nevada's 14-inch guns. Those bucklers for Nevada looked more like the bucklers that are on modern battleships, so like the South Dakotas and the Iowas, than they do this battleship. These are completely different. I know you gotta be wondering, well, what are the bloomers for? Well, their primary purpose was to keep rain and sea spray from entering into the gun house. The other purpose for them was to mitigate the blast from the muzzles. So from the shelf being fired, there's that big concussive blast coming out of the muzzle of the gun. Well, it's to keep that concussion from entering back into the gun house. However, Texas and New York didn't have an issue with the effects of muzzle blast. This is because their gun houses were designed and built with half-inch steel plates called air seal plates, highlighted here on the drawing. The plates were fitted on the gun just inside the gun port and dramatically reduced the effects of muzzle blast. The airports, however, didn't ha eliminate the need for protection from the elements. Bloomers had to be fairly rugged. Initially, they were made out of canvas, just simple straight cell cloth canvas, but in the 1940s, they started be being made out of rubberized canvas, so much heavier, much tougher. And then after World War II, they were made out of neoprene. When Texas was commissioned in 1914, she didn't have gun bloomers. Instead, she had a sheet of canvas that was rolled down the face of the turret. This sheet of canvas protected the gun ports. When the ship cleared for action was gonna fire her big guns, the canvas was rolled back up and stored at the top of the turret. Between 1919 and 1921, these buckler frames were installed. For whatever reason, she didn't start using bucklers until after her 1927 refit. And until then, she kept using the full face plate covers. After her reconstruction was completed in 1927, she started using canvas bloomers. And bloomers that are in the shape of like the ones that are on the ship today. It was in the early 1940s that she received her first set of uh, rubberized bloomers. And the rubberized bloomers throughout World War II appear and disappear, appear and disappear. So like a photograph of her heading to Normandy from England, they're not on there. We knew that they were, we have pictures of them before, but they disappear for whatever reason. There's never any explanation in any of the, the documentation that we have to say why. In the Pacific, we know that she had a full set when she left the West Coast, when she was off the coast of Hawaii and, and some of the photographs off of Iwo Jima. But by the time she's at Okinawa, the bloomers have disappeared entirely. And when they do pop up, like when she's at Ulithi or in San Francisco, it's, it's canvas covers that are dyed or painted blue and covers that were made by the cell makers down in the cell maker shop on the ship. She didn't get another full set of rubberized bloomers until after World War II. Those bloomers stayed on until 1948, until she was getting ready to come here to San Jacinto. The bloomers were replaced with just steel plates that covered the gun port. Those steel plates stayed in place from 48 all the way up till the end of the ship's dry dock period in 1990, when she received another set of bloomers, her first set of bloomers since 1945. Those bloomers lasted all the way up until just recently when we had to replace them. They started deteriorating, so we replaced them with these guys. And what we're using instead of rubberized canvas is just vinyl. The vinyl holds up very well, UV resistant, and does a great job for us. We want to thank everyone for their support and you know if you haven't please subscribe to the channel follow us on facebook instagram and twitter everyone out there again thank you for support thank you for the love and thank you for all the positive vibes y'all have a good one though